Like your watch. Cheers, man. Yeah, very cool. Oh, thank you. Oh, very much. nice bit of color. Yeah. 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 It goes with your horse. Old, uh, yeah. And if you have to do any post production, they'll be able to get rid of that really quickly. It's the exact same color as the blue screen and stuff, right? Yes. Oh god! Yeah. For the minute, that I think you complimented it, and then yeah, it's all right. But they can no, get rid no, of yeah, it. yeah, don't yeah. Worry, don't but worry. We hate it. Don't get rid of that. Don't worry. CGI you don't need to worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll brush that right out of here. <laughs> oh dear, that's what I came here for. Abuse. Mm. <laughs> Casual abuse. Yeah. <laughs> well, a real pleasure to welcome Donald and Rachel. Now, um, listen, guys, I love this. Oh, I'm a, I think I'm a nice. sucker for a romantic comedy anyway. Cool. But this one has got <clears> something very special about it. Um, can we talk about this this time travelling element a bit first? Uh, because it's a, a real clever twist, I think. I mean, I'm a Back to the Future fan anyway. So yeah. Anything with time travelling, yeah. it's you know, bonus points. But if, if you guys could travel back to one particular day, which one would you choose? From the film? No, not necessarily. Oh. It can't be before you're born, though. It there can't are rules. be before I was born. How about the day you were born? Go back to the birth no, channel. Be yeah, I know. It'd be, be interesting, would be wouldn't it? What? I mean, you know, like <laughs> I'd never look at my mother the same way ever again. You'd have much more appreciation for your mother. <laughs> I'd come out clapping. Yes. Well done. I was I was horrible in there. Well done. <laughs> yeah, I would not go back to that day personally. I would go back to um oh, I don't know. I saw a picture of, of me. I've got to look through baby photographs for the, for. Uh, I had to give some baby photographs to a film recently. You know when they ask you for photos when you're young, and there was just a picture of me sleeping on my face when I was like about three <laughs> years old, like all huddled up, and uh, I looked really happy. On your face. Y yeah, I might go back to there. It was like a nice. really peaceful sleep. You just want to sleep your way through. Yeah, yeah, I'll sleep my way moment. through. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, I guess it, maybe I'd go back and to my sister being born that might be because I have certain memories of that day and I'm sure they're not true because I was so little but oh. um, you know that was I was pretty excited about that so might be nice to but you don't have to go back as a three year old do you you can go back as like someone who could actually with some experience conceive there. of what's happening yeah. yeah right yeah yeah is that how it works I, I, it, it, it works exactly in that fashion <laughs> yes I think so I think yeah he's the expert <laughs> well that's so. Richard he writes it <laughs> <laughs> He can, he can put that into the script for you. be all right. <laughs> That's right. Um, obviously, if you were to go back, would you actually want to change anything, though? Isn't, uh, aren't those sort of mistakes and the experiences that you go through, are they not what shape you? Yeah, I mean, I think that's part of the message of the film, I mm -hmm. guess, is that life is worth living. It's tough sometimes, but hopefully it's still worth living, I guess. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, that you can, if you can start to sort of simmer in the in the present you'll be fascinated by what you'd find there and and uh you know it's all you got anyway so you might as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is true yeah <laughs> um richard absolutely loves to seems to love london um mm. the way he's always filmed uh, you know around the city and always makes it look absolutely incredible is there something special for you guys filming in in the city yeah it was particularly cool for me being Canadian um, because I've always had, you know, dreams of London and, you know, and then they, I get to come here and they're sort of actualized in this film. So, um, and it, it really does give so much life to every scene. And I mean, there's a scene that's not in there where we were shooting on Abbey Road all day. Yeah. And I was heavily fake pregnant, which still felt like real. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm sure it's much worse, <laughs> but it felt real. And, um, you know, and, and it was still just such a blissful day because we were, you know, when Richard took us into Abbey Road yeah, Studios. Yeah, we got to do a tour of the studio and stuff. No, and this isn't the film, by the way. No, nope, but, <coughs> but like uh, he still makes, uh, yeah, makes great stuff happen all the time. And Did you go and do the Beatles thing on the Zebra Crossing? That was oh, part of the scene. <clears throat> that was part of the scene. Yeah. So... Yeah, so yeah, we all did it at various points. It was good fun. Yeah, maybe that'll be in the DVD extra. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Because you did some seriously good physical comedy that day. They cut, day all of that that out of the, cut all of that out of the film. Very damaging for my ego. <laughs> I go back to the day in the edit and I convince Richard to leave in my best bits. <laughs> can, can I talk about one of the scenes that is it still in the film? I, I, I love it because I can relate to it so much. And, and it's uh, you waiting for Rachel to get changed. <laughs> I thought oh, you meant yes. it's like, I thought it was going to be the romantic one outside the yeah, restaurant waiting. of waiting yeah. for someone you love. No, it's Just waiting for someone you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. 
Oh, I tell you though, isn't that the most frustrating thing when you're waiting for a girl, you, you're going out in an evening and it's like, oh, I'll try this on, I'll try that on, but how does this one look? And then you end up at the first one again. <laughs> Are you going to be okay? I don't think so. No. It's, it traumatised really me. really personal. But yeah. if there's someone coming in just looking yeah. beautiful all the time, you just, that's, that's a good thing. That's gorgeous. This is true. Are, are you not? like that in, you in get, life? Are you, are you, do you... You, permission to, to totally ogle your yeah. girlfriend. Actually, yeah. Just... Never thought about that. <laughs> that. You have been wasting time, my friend. <laughs> this is... Do you know what? These are the moments. I can go back and I can go and relive those days. You can go back and you can say, do you want to go out yeah. tonight? Why don't you try on some outfits? Do you want to say, clench your fists? Then you look like a pervert, actually. Don't do that. Yeah, if you do that when she comes in, she's going <laughs> to run. Guys, thank you so much. I love the film. Thank you. Oh, thank oh, you thanks very, very much. much. Really glad you like thank it. Thank you.